Hello folks, Kitbot here at Good Guys Gaming, and welcome to this fix-it video uh, which I hope will help to solve a pretty frustrating problem a lot of people are having in OBS Studio, namely when you select a particular source rather than getting the expected result which you can see on, on screen now as Guild Wars 2, uh, rather than getting the expected result of your game being captured you actually see, just see a black screen and you don't get any content. This issue seems to be occurring when people are adding new sources to an OBS video project. Sources are over here. I won't go in depth into what scenes and sources are and all the various different types. If, if you're using OBS you probably know that already. But basically a scene is a collection of sources and sources are just elements that you select you want to add into your video. So for example the one we're viewing at the moment here is BENQ display capture. So this is my BENQ monitor and it's being captured via display capture. Also, I use here hyphen GC to abbreviate game capture, so I know exactly what type of capture I'm doing uh, if I'm live streaming and I can change very quickly. So when we're viewing this source here, we're seeing the expected results, which is to see my desktop, or rather to see um, my maximized OBS studio window. Apologies for the kind of trippy effect going on here. If I was to hide this scene, this is what people are seeing when they add a new source to their OBS project. Rather than seeing the expected uh, game or program being captured, they're seeing a black window like this. It only seems to occur under game capture. If you try and capture um, the same thing under a display capture mode like we're using here, it does seem to work just fine. But obviously you want to use game capture if you're trying to capture a game. Let's now add a source to this OBS project and see if we can reproduce the issue because I've seen it happen in a couple of ways. So I have a game running down here, Mother Russia Bleeds. Let's see if we can bring that in as a new source. So we will go into sources menu here, hit plus. The capture type will be game capture and we will add a title for this. Okay, we want to capture a specific window and we want that window to be Mother Russia Bleeds. So at the moment you can see we have just a grey preview window here showing us that it looks like we haven't properly hooked onto that game for display. But we will add it in and switch over to that particular scene. We're now using the Mother Russia Bleeds game capture scene we just created correctly. Um, as you can see, as a viewer, all you're getting is a black screen, when in fact what we want to do is to be able to see the game itself. So one thing we can do is simply try to Alt-Tab out to the game and back. So I'll go ahead and click the game and click back in to OBS Studio. So we'll now change back to the scene we created a moment ago which didn't work. And as you can see it is capturing the game uh, as expected. However this is not usually the only fix for this uh, issue as well. So um, in order to show this it's slightly difficult because we're recording at the same time but let's just say we have the Mother Russia Bleeds uh, scene uh, not hidden at the moment. It has a little, um, it's faded out and has a strike through the eye symbol so that's showing that it's faded out we're not displaying it. But let's imagine for a moment that we are displaying it and it's not working. This is the fix that has worked for me in most cases. So. If, assuming you've alt tabbed out and back in and it's still not working. So what you can do is double click it, go down here to forced scaling and actually set this to the scale that you want it to be. For example, 1920 by 1080 and hit OK. I won't hit OK on that because it'll screw around with the scene we have running in the background. But that's uh, one method that has worked for me also. Um, if you don't want to keep on running with the scaled resolution, what you can do is just delete that source and recreate it and then the issue seems to go away as well. Uh, I don't know why this is occurring. For me, 
if it helps you my symptoms are that I had an AMD card which I I uh, uninstalled the drivers for I removed the card physically I installed my Nvidia card updated the new drivers and this issue started to occur I don't know why um, but these one of these fixes one of these three fixes helped so in summary the first fix is to create your scene sorry to create your source as you expect as normal and simply have the game running in the background alt tab out or otherwise click out of OBS click onto your game then click back into OBS and the scene may be up and running and that may be all you need to do sometimes you need to go in here and check for scaling and set it to the resolution that you want your video to be also bear in mind that if you have uh, scales down from your native resolution that you want to make sure to put that in here as well I definitely know that this is an issue because uh, in the past several sources that I have added I will see the red handles appearing around the edges of them um, in the in the workspace in the canvas in OBS but you can't actually click on them because they have a, a resolution size of zero by zero so they're there but they just can't be manipulated or dragged or used so I have used this for scaling before and then simply gone in and turned this off and the scene would just behave as normal and then the the, the final way of doing it is simply just to delete the scene you've created and recreate it later on and it seems to work as well so those are the three methods I've used I hope these help you um, what I would really love to be able to do is to find out why this is actually occurring why this is an issue at all I would love to know that again my symptoms are that I changed from an AMD to an Nvidia graphics card and I feel like I uh, uninstall the previous drivers and reinstall the new ones just correctly but that's when it occurred for me how about you did this occur for you after changing your graphics card or did you find some other way of fixing this it would be great to hear from you in the comments down below and thanks as always for watching the video don't forget to like and subscribe i have to get used to saying that okay bye